Well, a big thing was uh, my dad played um, at the pretty high level, uh, but then he chose his uh, civil career and started uh, studying more for his uh, after hockey while he was playing. And then he became an engineer. And then uh, so he kind of had to put his hockey on the side. And uh, my uncle played at a really high level. He was actually like, I think he got drafted, played for a national team, a bunch. Uh, so he was like one of the, the ones like I, I always wanted to try to strive and get better at. Yeah. Uh, so, so that was like a big thing for me growing up. Like I, he played in that elite series before he became SHL. So like I always tried to strive to get better than but he would he ever became <laughs> if that makes sense yeah yeah no you're always sounds like you're really motivated what what age did you start playing hockey at i think i started skating when i was through two or three i started skating and then ever since i just kind of fell in love with it and i just stayed busy playing uh played pretty much with my age group the guys that were a year older and then two years older as well so yeah, so you're introduced to a lot bigger players, um, probably faster and stronger. Um, you started playing like what with like a stick on ice in, in like leagues at like what six years old, seven years old. Um, I think they have you in like a skating school first. They start off, and then like it turns into uh, you practice with a team when you're it might be like five, maybe. Okay. Something yeah. around that, that age, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. And so you were, do you have uh, siblings at all, like older brothers? Or? I have a younger brother. Okay. He's three years younger than me. He also used to play, uh, but he quit uh, a couple of years ago now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So he still played. Yeah. A lot of kids that I uh, coach or kind of being around and, and talking with other coaches, a lot of times the younger brother is uh, very motivated. Um, to getting better because of their older brother that's you know paving the path for them with the whole hockey journey when they're young um yeah yeah it's it's uh pretty neat to see though and and the kids same kind of we kind of had similar um i guess passion for the game at a young age we kind of knew what we wanted to do at a really young age and that's what helps you uh get to that goal is when you know um what your yeah. goal is and where you want to go at a younger age rather than wasting time in those years of trying to figure it out, which is, which is totally fine too. Um, yeah. Yeah, you so want to have a little competing too and have something to strive for. And that's like how you're going to try to get better all the time too. Yeah. I'm sure when you look back to the, when you compete with those, you know, same age players or the one or two years guys, one or two years older than you, you probably were competing with them, but at the time, it's just fun to you because you had no expectation of being the younger guy, probably. Yeah, I didn't know better either. So I, I wanted to be that guy that was like, well, I'm just going to be one of the guys. So I I always uh, practiced and played with guys that were at least a year older. That was like my my team. And then if guys that were a year older than them, so two years older than me, if they needed help, I always, okay, I because I was the better one on the, the guys on my team. So I always got the chance to go up and play with the guys who are two years older than me. And then if there was tournaments or championships or anything with the guys who are my age, I always went down and played with them. So I always had, I always pretty much, I said I lived in the rink. That's what I did. It was like a school. And then I was just living at the rink after my homeworks and stuff. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, same kind of thing as me is just always wanting to be at the rink, always wanting to be on the ice or, or doing things to better uh, development, whether it was dry land, you know, or even roller hockey or street hockey. Um, is there a lot of street hockey that goes on in Sweden? We had uh, the neighborhood. We always had uh, the nets out in the, on the streets playing. So, and that was the same, like the friends, we always like, when there wasn't hockey, we were playing street hockey, roller hockey, and it was yeah. pretty much my whole life has just been around, surrounded by hockey yeah. up until I started reaching like the adult level. When you know it's like you can you actually have like your 
yeah. family and you have like a side away from the hockey as well you need to get that and try to relax and not just live hockey 24 7. So having finding that balance eventually at some yeah. point but yeah same kind of thing with the childhood you're just tons of hockey and you don't just you're just pumped to be able to do it rather than sit at home and and be bored uh, i know these days it's much different with all the ipads and technology yeah. and video games but back then it was like oh go outside and play any sport or especially most of the time it was hockey um, yeah no that was and me and my brother were so different too i always got uh my parents said like oh now you're you're not allowed to go outside if i had if i made some or did something i wasn't allowed to do and my brother was more of like the gamer he was like playing video games and everything and they said like you can't be in the house so you have to go outside <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah, we always had so when he played, is he playing a lot of like FIFA or what? What like you? I don't even know. I don't remember what the games were. I know when I was in Sweden, FIFA was a big game on our team. Those yeah, guys would play that. Um, yeah, yeah, it was FIFA and NHL, but FIFA is pr pretty much the biggest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, would you? Is there anyone else out there that you know? added or contributed to that passion of hockey other than just that was your life um could you remember anything else obviously the support of your parents but um any other individuals that you could count on maybe well no it's just like the family like they're always there and help you like they drive you to the rink and they were always around and allowed you to do what what you loved so they were like obviously huge had a huge impact um but i just all i remember was like i like i i was always striving to become better all the time and i just loved hockey so much that i was always at the rink and it was like i'm if i wasn't practicing i was there at least an hour early probably two hours earlier before my practice because there was teams practicing before after they needed players i was out there practicing with them before or I had something after and that's eventually how I ended up when I was in middle school I start playing you you know division one so it's like semi-professional it's yeah, like yeah yeah there's some good players are, there's especially some older guys that come down for sure there's some there's a lot of young players that are trying to make their way up into the yeah, but, second league yeah so when I was in eighth or ninth grade I was started playing with the the old like the men's team yeah. <laughs> so it was division one in sweden and um it started off they needed some players and i would they knew that i was like kind of like lingering around in the, yeah. in the arena you and, could they could they count on you because you they just knew yeah 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 and i was there and i was like okay do you want we need to for practice can you practice I was like sure yeah. so i i was always at the rink and that's how like how i got my opportunities too yeah so a little teaching that's, like, moment little teaching moment for the players and even parents can listen in here but the kids that uh, you know you can tell whether it's on the ice the way they're practicing or even just uh, being around the rank the ones that love it you can tell and those are the ones those are the coach those are the players that coaches want to, to surround themselves with especially have on their team because they know they can count on them to be committed dedicated and will listen to the coaches most of the time to get better yeah because that, like that's a lot of, of my friends are and other people have asked me like oh what did it take you to to get to this level and it's like well it's just like the passion it's like it's the all the hours you spend at the rink and preparing for games playing the games like i had friends because i always play with guys that are a year older at least and you know when you start getting into the <clears throat> high school and whatnot and there's like parties going on and, and and girls come around and it's and all these different distractions if you can call it that yeah but but i always had the hockey and especially like since they are older than me like they get they hit that level earlier and they start like okay well i can go and enjoy these things instead where i was like okay well now it's my chance and i can go and play and i can so yeah. i get to play more and i and i and I kind of took advantage of all these things. And I, yes, I missed out on some things, but I don't regret a thing for taking it to that level and be able to, to strive and get the opportunities I ended up getting. 
Yeah, I definitely, definitely can relate to some of the experiences. Same kind of thing. You see all these players, even players I played with that were unbelievable, uh, you know, I, I, including in Victoria here, but Vancouver players, they were, there were so many of them, so many good players, but you're like, oh, like where, where did they go after midget hockey or, or junior hockey, whether it was uh, tier two BCHL or WHL, um, you know, it just kind of life changes and you, you, um, you make different choices, whether to go to school because they don't love hockey as much, or they have girlfriends uh, that eventually become their wives and family. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there are other things to do in life, but um, it's just those, the timing of it and the choices that you make in order to sacrifice and, and dedicate towards uh, getting there.